I've been looking for any excuse to film another video and today is a very fun day because it's a very bookish related day, hence the occasion why I'm wearing my Daisy Jones and the Six t-shirt. As you can see, I just got back from my favorite local bookstore, Paper Cup Books, because today is April 9th, which is the release day of The Familiar by Leigh Bardugo, her newest book. Let's take a minute to appreciate this because the sprayed edges, the artwork both on the sleeve and also on the inside is so beautiful. I went to the bookstore with my friend Shelby and we were both joking, well, at least the book is really pretty if the book sucks. I doubt it will. But yeah, I have been counting down the days for this book since it was announced really. Last fall, I went to Y'all Fest with Shelby, the same friend, and we met Lee and she was so incredibly nice. And after she signed her books, she put a slip of paper in it, which I have somewhere in my room. I just don't feel like digging it up right now. Announcing the familiar. And that was, I think, the beginning of November. So it's been almost six months since then. I'm so excited. I'm going to go start reading it. And then once I get a little bit of the way in, I am going to reorganize and unhaul hopefully a few books from my bookshelves because they are such a mess. And I just need to reorganize, reevaluate what books I have that I have not read yet because it's so hard for me to even see any of them in there so that's what this video is gonna be i love watching these videos i just think they're relaxing and fun so i hope you enjoy i'm gonna go read a bit of this and then i'll give you my first thoughts on my review i'll link my goodreads down below if you want to see my full review for this when i finish and also all the other books i read but yeah i'm really excited to chapter four so far i am really intrigued i'm really enjoying it i like her writing style in this book a lot more than i did in ninth house which i still enjoyed now ninth house i was just kind of worried that this one was going to be more like that one which it was just a lot at the beginning a lot of information to process and this one i feel like it's much more digestible if that makes sense so far enjoying it and I'm very intrigued to keep reading, but I think I'm going to take a break just because I am so tired and I'm trying not to fall asleep and start working on my bookshelves. Over the past few days, I have been listening to Tom Felton's memoir, Beyond the Wand, and I am obsessed with it. I cannot wait to put my headphones back on to keep listening and that's what i'm gonna do when i organize my books i'm not quite halfway there yet but it is so fun to listen to him tell these stories he's so good at telling them whether he actually wrote the book or not i don't know there's a lot of ghost writers involved when it comes to memoirs but if you like harry potter i would 10 out of 10 recommend so far so good Let's start by showing you the current state of my bookshelves. And I say bookshelves lightly because I live in an apartment and I got to keep everything in one spot. So I'm very limited on what I can use to store books because they take up so much room. I used to just pile all my books up under my desk and I ran out of room there. So now I have this, which I bought on Amazon about a year ago. It's really cute and it holds so much. I grew up in Wisconsin. I live in North Carolina now, so I did have to leave a lot of my books behind, which I will get back one day. And there's some that are back there that I couldn't bring back after winter break, and I really wish I had them. For instance, I have a signed copy of Swordcatcher by Cassandra Clare, and then I have a bunch of books I haven't read yet there. But then most of the rest of the ones there, I have read. I also just lent out my Good Girl's Guide to Murder trilogy this morning actually to a friend. And then my copy of Daisy Jones and the Six I lent it to a friend a few months ago. So I gotta make sure I have room for those when I get them back. Let me show you what I'm working with. It looks very neat on a first glance, but don't be deceived by that. Because you can see it's begun of me stacking books. And there are a ton of books in the back 
of there and I just need to reevaluate. As much as I love displaying some of my favorite books and some of my series, I can't see the books I haven't read yet so I gotta figure that out. This seriously needs to be organized but I got this book cart this past Christmas which has been a lifesaver since I've run out of room in there. And this is another thing I just need to figure out what I want to display it out here. I don't know if I want my physical TBR on here or if I want to keep some of my favorite series because I love having that series there. I love looking at that every day. And then there's a mix of some signed copies, some of my favorites, my special editions, and then there's a couple in here I haven't read yet. And then I also have just started dumping stuff on the backside and I need to organize that. I'm gonna start by pulling everything out and organizing it by books I have read and then my physical TBR. And I think that's a good place to start. This madness is over. If you could tell me this many books could fit in between these two places, I don't know if I would believe you because this is a lot more books than I thought I had. If you are a book girly, you probably know that there's a difference between the hobby of reading books and the hobby of collecting books. And unfortunately, I have both hobbies. And this is not me to say I'm complaining or anything by any means, but when you love books, People love to buy you books as gifts, so I have a lot of books that I've had for a long time that people have gifted me. I also have a lot of books that I have thrifted for very cheap monetary value, which is why I ended up with so many books. And there are so many books in here I forgot I had because they've been shoved in the back of that for so long, which is why I'm really glad I'm doing this. My other problem is I get so over my head with series that I forget all the standalones that I have. That's what this video is for. It's time for me to tackle this and hopefully get rid of just a couple I know I'm not gonna read. But I am such a mood reader and if I don't read based off of my mood, I probably won't enjoy the book. Why am I sweating doing this? I should not be sweating, but it's really hot in my room right now. I'm just tired too. So that way I can keep track of which ones I had because like I said, I forgot I had some of these. It's a good thing I didn't buy them twice. Anyways, I'll show you the method of madness I have right now. This stack of books are books I've either borrowed from someone, going to sell, or just want to store elsewhere. And then these two books I have in Wisconsin, but I have the sleeves here. I need to put the sleeve on this book. All of these are books I've read. There's two exceptions in here, but I have signed copies. Making my way over here, this section of books are ones I have yet to read. And then I have my Akatar and Throne of Glass series, which I've read those. I have not finished the Akatar series, but I have the last one of Kingdom of Ash, which is going to be my next read. But like I said, a lot of these books I have thrifted have either had since I was very young. And a lot of them I'm gonna keep because I know I'm gonna get to them, but I have to just be in a certain mood, for example, read a Stephen King book or read a true crime book. And then again, some of these I forgot I even had. I gotta figure out how I wanna store these. I don't know if I want to put them on a shelf. I also have a lot of Colleen Hoover books, which I do not like her books anymore really, but they can be good palate cleansers, so I'm torn if I want to sell them, give them to someone or what. And then I have classics, which I have to be in a certain mood to tackle classic too. But I think this year I want to start reading these on top of ones that I'm reading for fun. I'm trying to see what else I have under here. I probably won't sell very many, if any. I don't know what to say. But yeah, now I'm going to kind of figure out how I want to organize these and then I'll come back to update you.
well, that time lapse was supposed to be me reorganizing everything, but I spent the entire time peeling the stupid Barnes & Noble sticker off of a book. They should not be allowed to be put on books. It makes me so mad. I'm so scared I'm gonna ruin the cover. Progress is definitely being made. I think this is looking really nice so far. It hasn't changed too much. I found this throne of glass, which is obviously a different cover than this one. This one. And that is one I thrifted a long time ago before I even read the series, forgot I had it. So I might just sell it, I think, probably, but I'm just gonna put it there for now. Down here I have Akatar, so then all of my Sarah J. Mass books are there my Six of Crows duology, and then my Fourth Wing Little Bundle here. These are the same books, but this is my Sprayed Edges one. I have this whole bottom section that yet has to have books in there. What I'm thinking is I think I'm going to pick some of my top physical TBR books and put it down there just to give me some more motivation to read them before I buy some more books. But yeah, we're doing good. The bottom shelf is getting stacked high with books. These are all books I've read. I still have some other books here that I have read I'm going to fit in there. And then I think I'm going to put more of my physical TBR books there. I'm trying to decide what I want to do because I don't know if I want all my physical TBR books to be on the front. Which is kind of the whole point of me doing this. But that's probably what I'll end up doing. So I'll probably end up moving these back there. So I can't see them even though they're really pretty all together. I did what I said I was going to. I think that's probably a good idea. Even though I wish I could see all of these every time I open it. Oh well. One day when I have a bookshelf, I will. I organize them all generally by the category. Except this one, I just pulled out some good palette cleanser books and books that I do want to read soon because I've seen people talk about them and it's piqued my interest as of lately. Here I have mysteries. Didn't realize I have so many. This is true crime. And then these two are actually, all four of these are signed. I've read Divine Rivals. I've yet to read Ruthless Vows just because I haven't gotten to it yet. I actually don't have Ruthless Vows signed, but I do have Divine Rivals signed. And then my Curse Duology I have signed, which this is actually the first signed book I ever got. Sorry, I meant Gilded Duology, but I have to read Cursed. I've read Gilded. It feels like such long ago that I got these done. If I should make a video of all my special editions, signed, etc. books, I might do that at some point because I love watching those videos too. Anyways, back here, my Stephen King stack. His books are always so long. And then these are kind of my miscellaneous ones I've been gifted. I'm assuming this is probably fantasy and then this is historical fiction. My Red Queen duology, which I've had since elementary school probably and i think i remember tried reading this but never got into it and i hate not having paperback card cover so i think i'll probably sell this one and then if i ever want to read that series i can just buy the first one this one's just messed up so i'm just gonna sell it i have the folk of the air trilogy which i've not yet read but i do want to read this one this year that is a scary stack this is fantasy, my Colleen Hoover stack. This is classics, a dystopian type fantasy. Probably just group it in with that pile. So now it's just time to figure out where I want to place them all. And if there's any I do want to get rid of, which I'm not really thinking there probably is. Except I do want to trade this one in to get it so it matches the height of the other ones because it's driven me insane for the past year i'm gonna take it out just so i remember to do that and i'm gonna put it here with red queen
is the update. We are doing so good. For some reason, I didn't realize how much room I would have there. So I think I'm going to pull a few more books here that I want to read just to fill it up. But it has made so much extra room, which also is not good because now I'm going to think, wow, I can get more books. Alexis, that is not the point of this. But yeah, I think I'm just going to pull a few more I want to read and put it there. And then I think I'm pretty much done. Baby, baby, you are really hurting. The sun is setting and I think I am finally done. That took a lot longer than I thought it would and I didn't really get rid of any books but you know one is better than zero I guess. We'll see how this year goes and if I won't get to reading any of them I'll probably get rid of them. Let me show you the final result. Starting with my book cart we got thrown a glass and I think I'm just gonna sell this one so I'm gonna pull it out for now. I also have chocolate covered almonds back here that I got for my birthday and then my Kindle is in there. And then I have my Mere Christianity study, my journal, and what usually ends up happening is I'll put the book I'm reading there after I read at night in my book cubby thing. It's a guitar and I just love these books too much. I just wanted to display them. There's a lot more that I love that are tucked away, but this is good for now. And then the bottom is my Bible and then some books I do want to read in the near future. Kind of see underneath, I just put some books in there. I don't want to sell, but I don't want to store in here making our way to here you can see how much space i utilized i even put a puzzle and my plant food in there for now aside from my hunger game set and then those are just book jackets of books i don't have with me right now my scrapbooks all of the ones you can see are ones i have not read yet i've read divine rivals and i've read gilded otherwise i'm looking and yeah these ones i have not read yet i've read those and then all the ones in the back, I have already read. So this is good because then when I'll open this, I'll see books that I have not read. And these are my options and I have to sell them if I'm not going to read them. So let's get on this this year, Alexis. That was good to get done and I love book related days. I'm going to spend the rest of the night doing some schoolwork and then reading The Familiar. It's been a good day and I've been very productive. I thought that was going to be a good video, but I was just aware that Target has a buy two get one free deal on all their books which are already discounted so i'm gonna pick up a friend who lives at my apartment building and we are going to go get some books i think i'm gonna just buy the crescent city series because i know i'm gonna read it it'll save me some money this year and that's how i'm gonna justify it but i thought the video was gonna end there but it really really has been a bookish day today hasn't it That took longer for us to do the checkout than it did to pick out the books, but now we're gonna do a haul. Here, you can start. Okay, so I got The Worst Best Man. Yay. And then the first one in the Twisted series, which I've been wanting to read. She was just talking about yeah, it this morning, which is why it. I texted her to come with me. And then Alexis's recommendation from her friends, um, Happy Place. I'm sure you guys have seen that book at some point. Yay! Last time I talked to you, my plan was to get the whole Crescent City series, but they only had one. I got House of Sky and Breath. I cannot read it backwards like that. And then I got Ballad of Never After by Stephanie Garber, which I've been wanting to read. And then finally, one of my favorite authors. All three of these are some of my favorite authors. Taylor Jenkins Read, Carrie Soto is Back. So yay, success. I am so sick of these stupid stickers today. I have peeled them off of more books than I would ever like to. I am not super guilty about getting these because I know I'm going to read them this year. They have all been on the top of my TBR list for so long. Obviously, I could not get the other ones, but I have this one for now. And yeah, let's put them on the shelf. I'm going to put these two on the bottom here. And would you look at that? They fit perfectly. This one will be going into here. I'm going to actually end the video now. I'm going to play the same outro I made before I went to Target. If you want more book related videos, let me know. And again, follow my Goodreads because I'm very active on there. But yeah, I hope to do some more videos like this in the future because I think they're fun and relaxing, like I said. Good background videos. All of my links are down below and thank you so much for watching.